Hello, welcome to Board Game TV, and at long last, we're playing Arkham Horror again. Okay, so, um, let's go over what we're doing. First thing, let's go over our player characters. Alright, so, we have Bob Jenkins here. He starts off with $9, two common items, two unique items, and one skill. So he got... Really, he's physical man, boy. He got an 18 Derringer, which is plus two to combat checks. Cannot be lost or stolen unless you choose to allow it. The Tommy Gun, which is plus six to combat checks. The Ancient Spear, which is plus four to combat checks. And Exhaust to change <clears throat> Ancient Spear to a magical weapon until the end of the combat. Healing Stone. Exhaust to gain one stamina or sanity. This card, this card, if the Ancient One awakens. His skill is Clairvoyant. When making a check to close a gate, you may exhaust this card to reroll all dice, showing a result of one. This card does not refresh unless you spend all of your focus to do so. And his thing is whenever Bob draws one or more cards from the common item deck, he draws one extra card and discards one of them cards. And there's where I have his skills. Okay, we have Vincent Lee, the doctor. He starts off with nine bucks. One clue. Dr. Lee may restore one stamina to himself or another character in his location. He cannot raise a character's stamina higher than the character's maximum stamina. Okay. So he got two common items, two spells, and one skill. <clears throat> he got the motorcycle. He gets some two extra movement points. The handcuffs. Exhaust before making a combat check against a cultist, tico tico, ghoul, or maniac to automatically pass a check and gain one sanity. Premonition spell. Cast and exhaust to move one of your skill sliders up two step stops and chant weapon. Cast and exhaust to make one physical weapon a magical weapon until the end of the combat round. He got the ancient language. After making any spell check, exhaust to add one success to the result. This card does not refresh unless you spend all of your focus to do so. Then we have Mandy Thompson who starts with six bucks, four clue tokens. Two common items, one unique item, one skill, and she has, once per turn, Mandy can activate this ability after any investigator, including herself, makes a skill check. That investigator then rerolls all the dice rolled for that check that did not result in a success. <clears throat> she got the rifle, plus five, lantern, plus one luck, seeker of the yellow sign, lose two stamina, and discard this card to automatically succeed at a horror check, or to automatically successful succeed at a fight or lore check made to close a gate. <clears throat> she has a mythos lore which gives her maximum one sanity exhaust instead of spending one clue token. Alright, so we're playing with the um, Goat of the Black Woods expansion. So we have our <clears throat> 1000 membership here, our cards here, and uh, our corruption deck here if we have to do it. And we have Glacky <clears throat> is our ancient one. And Glacky's worshippers are relentless undead creatures. Cultists are undead and move like stalker monsters. Place the five servant of Glacky monsters on this sheet, which we did. Servants of Glacky that are defeated return to this sheet. They can never be claimed as trophies. Okay. While Glacky stirs in his slumber, each time an ally is discarded or removed from the game, draw a random draw a mythos card and place a random servant of Glacky on the gate location shown, even if it is sealed. If all five servers of Glacky are already on the board, Glacky will immediately awakens. Investigators devoured, caught, raised the terror level by two. Okay. <clears throat> and we have our first gate here at the roadhouse. <coughs> and we have a ghoul there. So our first player is Bob. And what do I want to do with him? He can move four spaces. So uh, that's one, two, three, four. I think with Bob, I think he's going to shop. Why not? So I think with Bob, he's going to shop. And um, we're going to go ahead and draw three common items and see what he wants to buy. 
Hmm. Jeez, not really good. Um. Okay, let's spend one dollar and buy the research material. That's the end of his turn. I think Vincent, I'm going to have come up here to where Bob is, and they're going to trade. He's going to take the Derringer. And give it to Vincent and Vincent's also <clears throat> I think he's going to he's got nine dollars as well so he's gonna buy some items see what he can buy Ooh, a cross a knife hmm I think he's gonna take the cross for three dollars Okay. All right. Then Amanda, who already has four clue tokens, and she starts a game with that. Um. <coughs> okay, I think I'm gonna have her go to the unnameable and grab that clue token. And then all she has to do is her encounter, which we're gonna do now. Okay. Let me see. I think it may be one of our. Let's see here. She's not one of a thousand, so she's not. She's gonna have to worry about that. Okay. All right. A voice, perhaps. The house itself begins whispering to you. Make a will minus two check. Gain one clue for each success, but lose one either one stamina or one sanity if you fail. Okay, her will is two. Well, she's not going to get to make a check. Well, we always get to roll one die. So. And she failed. So, uh, we'll lose one stamina. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. And that's going to be the end of our turn. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Mythos phase. We have Jailbreak. Oh, we can't do that one. We're not playing with that. So let's see. All right, here we go. Police proclaim cult crackdown. The police say the recent rise in cultist activity cannot be tolerated, and all the citizens to report sightings of people and strange. Remember, all cultists in Arkham are returned to the cut where there are none. Clue appears at the science building. Okay. Uh, we have no monster movement. We do have a gate at the unvisited aisle, though. So let's put that there. Let's put a doom token. And let's grab a monster. And we have one of these child of the goat. Okay. And it will be Vincent Lee's turn. Do I want to stay there or do I want to start get going here? Um, I think I'm going to have him go to the science building. Pick up two clues. Um, hmm. I think... Well, let me, let me think about this real quick. Okay, so I think I'm going to have Mandy, we're going to try to already, since she started with four clues, and she has one, got one last turn, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to seal the unvisited out. So, let's move her there, and we have to do this child of the goat here. Oof. He's treated as a cultist. Okay. And remember, cultist... Are treated as undead. Okay. So, um, but they don't get any bonuses, so we don't have to do a, a horror check. And I have my rifle, which is five, plus one is six, three, nine. 
All I need is one hit, so I'll just roll a couple dice. And I did get one success. So we have killed. But they are relentless, so they're not going to go... We're not going to be able to claim them. However, <clears throat> we are now here in another dimension. Okay. And then... Bob... I think Bob is going to have another encounter at the general store. Uh, carbine rifle. That's only one hand. Well, wow. Okay. We'll buy the carbine rifle. Four dollars. No, 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 no. Wait, we'll buy. It. We'll we'll pay for the. We, we got enough weapons. We'll buy this debt here. Four dollars. And all right. So Vincent Lee is going to have an encounter at the science building. <clears throat> all right. The professor has set up an experiment to transfer knowledge from one person to another. You may choose another investigator and give him one of your skills. He must then give you a different skill back if he has one. I don't think we're going to worry about that. Now we're here in another dimension, so let's see what we're going to have here. At the top of a hill is an old stone well. You may toss one dollar inside and pass a luck to be blessed. If you fail, nothing happens. I think I will, actually. It'd be nice to be blessed. So here's my dollar. Luck minus two. I get to roll one die. Ah. God, ah, that's terrible. Rolling. Okay, <clears throat> and that's the end of the turn. Our next mythos phase here. Okay, can't do that one. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh. This is that horrible rumor. All right. Ah, cultists, witches, warlocks, and high priests have their toughness increased by two while this card is in play. Place one clue token on this card at the end of every mythos phase, beginning the turn after it enters play. If a single player discards three spells, four if there are four, no, okay, while in the French Hill streets during the Arkham Encounter phase, return this card to the box, okay, fail. If there are ever five clue tokens on this card, return to the box. For now on, draw two meet those. Oh my God, okay. This is a horrible, yeah. Oh, boy. All right. I have two spells. So if I can get another spell, I think I might I don't know, have to work on that. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> I won't start until next turn. All right, so let's put a the graveyard, a gate. Uh, we do have movement. The ghoul will move, so we'll move him here. <clears throat> All right, and the um, monster. Is what, one of these. Okay, and we have to put a doom token on the doom track. Okay, Mandy. Well, it's pretty simple. We set her up. Vincent, let's work on getting some spells here. Um, where's the closest one? Ye old magic shop. Okay, we're gonna go down to. Well, we're gonna go down here to the historical society. We can get spells there as well. <clears throat> I kind of did a little bit out of order. Sorry. Let's move Bob. Let's move him here to the Silver Twilight Lodge. Okay, so Mandy's going to have an encounter. Alright. Uh, the cat offers you some advice. Make it lower. Okay, well, lower minus one.
Okay, pass. Gain one clue token for each success. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Bob. Silver Twilight Lodge. All right. Certainly we'd love to have you, Carl Sanford says, if you can do something for us. Move to the city of the great race and have an encounter there. Then immediately return. If you pass a test or defeated a monster encounter there, take a silver twilight membership and gain one clue. Okay, city of the great race is green or yellow. Uh, that's red. Okay. You may choose to try and infiltrate if, okay, well, alright. Okay, so, oof, City of the Great Race. Alright, so I need to do a sneak check. I get one try at this. Pass. Alright. If so, if you pass, draw two unique items and keep one of them. Alright. Okay, I'll take this thing. Blue Watcher of the Pyramid. Use two stamina and discard Blue Watcher of the Pyramid to automatically succeed at a combat check or a fight check or lore check made to close a gate. This cannot be used against the Ancient One. Okay. Alright, <clears throat> and since I did that, I do gain one clue token. And, um,. I am a now a member of the Silver Silver Little Twilight Lodge member. Okay. All right. Vincent is at the Historical Society, so let's. All right. Uh, pay a three-hour fee to gain access to the private library. If you refuse, move to the street. If you pay, make a luck minus one check. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's let's get this here. <clears throat> okay, I didn't do it. Let's see if I have anything. Okay, um, I'm going to spin a clue. Okay, got it that time. So I spend my three dollars. Okay, spent my clue. <clears throat> but I gain a spell. <clears throat> and that's... That's all I need because now I have three spells and we can get rid of that horrible rumor. <clears throat> and that is it. Okay, next meet those phase. First thing we have to do is we have to put a clue token on the great rumor. So, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and have our encounter. <clears throat> Lynch mob. One ally is randomly drawn from the ally, ally deck and returned to the box. Well, that's terrible. Clue, oh wait a minute, we can't do this one. That, that's freaking that much. Okay, Marsh. Unvisited Isle. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, statue destroyed. Unfortunately, statue destroyed lets two monsters loose in the village common streets. Okay, alright, so we have. Well, we don't have to worry about that. So we have a surge. So let's put three monsters on the board. We have two now. Remember, our monster limit is six. All right. So let's put. We have one here, cultist. We have a ghost, and we have this spectral thing. Ooh, that's not nice. Okay. <clears throat> Do we have any movement? No, we're not going to have any movement. All right. All right. Clue appears at the science building and Velma's diner. Okay. Unfortunately, the statue lets two monsters loose in the village common streets. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 
All right, so one monster will be in the village common streets. Oh, well, okay. We're just going to put one in the street. Put one on the outskirts because we can fit one monster board. And we'll put the color of outer space there. Oof. Okay. We're back to Bob. Okay. Let's take Bob. Let's move him to the witch house. Vincent, we want to go to the French Hill. Which where we do. Okay. And Mandy, we're going to move her one. Alright. So let's start with Bob. He's going to have an encounter at the witch house. <clears throat> Alright, you find a banquet laid out in the dining room and feel compelled to sit down and eat. Make a look and consult the following. Okay. Alright, got one success. Uh, you gorge yourself. Okay, stay here next turn. That sucks. Okay. Alright. Vincent is going to do his thing. Okay, so we can get rid of the rumor. So I'm going to discard my three spells. And each player will now gain two clue tokens. Which is fantastic. <coughs> Alright. And Mandy will have an encounter. There's nothing here but barren waste. No encounter. Okay. All right, that is the end of the turn. All right, let's do our next mythos phase. Oh, the witch house. Okay, first of all, put a gate here. He's getting sucked into the dreamlands. All right, um, we got to put a monster in the outskirts, which we've done. We have no monster movement. Well, we do have monster movement, actually. He's going to move one. And he's actually like a stalker. So, um... He's actually going to come over here to... Boy here. Um... Is that ghouls too? Yeah, cultists and undead move like stalker. Okay, well. Okay. But he didn't move, that's right. He didn't move. He didn't move. Okay. His symbol didn't come up. Alright, let's uh put a doom token on the doom track. Okay. Alright, ooh. Eric Weiss, a famous visiting escape artist and master of illusion was scheduled to put on his show however when he was told that the legacy of the pharaoh's museum exhibit was in town he paled visibly and canceled the performance there is a task i must see to was his only comment all witches and warlocks in arkham are returned to the cup uh, we don't have any of them out. if any investigator has eric weiss as an ally then investigates these monsters as trophies instead the clue appears at the end of his aisle, which it will not. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Vincent. We gotta fight this cultist now. It shouldn't be too bad. So, uh, we have our Derringer. Two plus two is four. Plus one is five. We just need one hit. And we got it, so this guy's dead, but relentless, so goes there. Okay. Where are we going with Vincent? Um, he went to Dreamlands. Uh, 
crap, that guy was supposed to move too. Okay. Um. Uh, Alright. We're moving him here. He's going to fight this deep one. Okay. So, do a wheel. He gets a plus one to his horror checks because of the cross. Okay, one success, so he just loses one sanity. Now he has to fight this thing. He has a five because he has the Derringer. That's one is four. Okay, what? Well, Devil sixes. That's actually really good. So he kills his monster. We'll take that as a trophy. And that'll be the end of his turn. Uh, Mandy is coming out of the Unvisited Isle. And we'll go ahead and do this a little bit out of order. Let's go ahead and spend the five clue tokens. And seal the gate. Okay. So, we have sealed the unvisited owl. <clears throat> Alright. And we have square, and we get rid of this thing here. So, that's good. <clears throat> Alright, Bob is in the dreamland, so he's going to have an encounter. The obsidian door refuses to open. Pass a fight. Minus one check. Or stay here next turn. Okay. Well, well, we'll try to pass a fight. Minus one check. And we got it. So we, we can move on next turn. Okay. All right. Now, we got one gate closed. We're working on this one. And I think now that that dude's gone, we can work on that one. So let's go to our next phase. The woods, well, alright. So let's get a get at the woods. Clue token appears at Independent Square. Let's go ahead and put a monster on the board. Nothing is moving. So that's pretty good. Kind of goat spawn again. Alright. <clears throat> Put a Doom token on the Doom track. Okay. Alright. Each investigator must make a luck minus one check. Any investigator that fails must either discard his most expensive item or lose all his money. Okay, well, he won't have to. So it's Vincent uh, and Mandy. So we'll start with Vincent. He fails and we'll lose all of his money. Okay, Mandy, she fails as well, and she will lose oh, well, she has a plus one on luck, so I forgot to roll. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll lose her, her money. Okay. And so it is Mandy's turn. Okay, let's see where I want to do with her. Um, we're going to send her one, two. We're going to the science building to pick up this clue. Bob can stand up. Vincent will come here to the city of the Great Hall of Siliano, I'm sorry. And go there. Okay. So Mandy will have an encounter at the science building. <clears throat> Alright, the professors are willing to try. For every $3 you spend, you may return one of your corruption cards to the box. Well, I don't have any corruption cards. 
Okay, Bob uh, is going to have an encounter at the Dreamlands. In the Valley of Noth, where the doles crawl and burrow nastily, you hear a slithering among the mountains of bone. Make a sneak minus one check. Holy shit. If you fail, you are devoured. If you pass, gain three clue tokens and return immediately to Arkham. Holy shit, man. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to spend some clue tokens here. So. Here we go. And I pass on my first roll. Okay. Okay, so I gained three clue tokens. I immediately return to Arkham, which is fine. I'm here. <laughs> Hell, man. Vincent Lee will have an encounter at the Hall of Siliano, which is blue. <coughs> Pass a luck minus one check to discover a cache of ancient. Okay. I didn't make it. Okay. Well, no penalty for failing. Okay. Wow. That's the end of the turn. Let us do our mythos phase. The Witch House. Well, all right, that's fine. Um, a monster will appear there. Anyway, another cultist. Uh, see any movement? Nope. No movement. Oh, wait, square. So we have to do this. Uh, instead of moving, roll die on a 4 through 6, all investigators in Arkham lose one sanity. Okay. Yep. Alright, so she has to lose the sanity. And Bob has to lose the sanity. Okay. Alright, clue appears at the Black Cave. Thanks to the mystic energy generated by the planetary alignment, all spells have a sanity cost of zero. Okay. Okay. Well, um, Bob is going to try to shut down the witch house. And he's successful, so he will spend two, three, four, five clues. The witch house is gone. No monsters like that. And seal that gate. <laughs> okay. Vincent will stand up. Mandy will now move. Let's see where we want to move her to. I can try sending her to the woods. <clears throat> we can try to get that one done. Yep. One, two, three. We have this goat spawn here. Physical resistance. All right, let's do a wheel check. Okay. That's good. And let's see here. Five plus three is eight, but we're only going to get four. But I got two successes, which is enough to kill this thing. And then we are going into the plateau of Lang. <clears throat> okay. Bob. Well, we already did his. I think I messed up and did a little bit out of order. Yeah. Vincent gets to move. Uh, pass a will check or lose one sanity and stamina from fear and exhaustion. Okay. No. Alright, so I gotta lose one of each. Okay. 
Mandy, red, green. Pass a luck minus two check to find something useful among the bones. If so, draw one common item in one spell. Okay. No. All right. <coughs> and that is the end of the turn. All right. Meet those phase. Okay. Well, we actually got lucky. All right. So, unvisited aisle. But we have a seal there, so nothing's going to happen. Let's see if our monsters are going to do anything. The color of space, yes. A four, so anybody in Arkham, which is Bob, is the only one. He loses one sanity. Okay. During the upkeep phase, first player rolls two dice. At the sum of the result is seven. Each investigator with no clue tokens gains one clue token and loses one sanity. Well, everybody's got clue tokens, so that's not going to matter. Okay. And that's it. That's actually pretty good. Okay. So we are at Vincent. So Vincent's going to come out. Mandy is going to stand up. Bob is going to fight the cultist. He's got a bunch of pluses, so we'll just roll... Yeah, he defeats it, but it's relentless. That's it for him. Okay, so Vincent, he's going to try to seal this place. Minus one. Uh huh. There's a four lore. All right, let's see. Let's roll. And he passes, no problem. So he'll take this. There are no monsters that have that symbol. He will pay his five clue tokens. And we shall seal the graveyard. This is one, two, three. Okay. So Mandy is uh, here at Plateau. You wander the frozen waste. No encounter. Okay. And then Bob will have an encounter at the witch house. <clears throat> Alright. Um, in the attic, you feel a force in your mind, trying to replace your thoughts with those of another. Make a speed minus one check to escape. If you pass, move to the streets. If you fail, lose one spell. Or if you have no spells, lose two sanity. Okay, he doesn't have any spells. Which is bad. Speed. All right. But he passed. So if you pass, move to the streets. So he's coming to French Hill Streets. Okay. And that's the end of the turn. All right. Let's do our next mythos phase. Independent Square. It would be a gate burst, but there is no gate there. So let's go ahead and take the clues off. The unnameable. Is going to get a clue. Let's put a gate here. Yo goth. Okay. Put a doom token on the doom track. Which we shall do. Let's put a monster on there. <clears throat> and we have another cultist. Okay. Alright, let's see if anything moves. Alright, yes we will. The ghoul will move. He'll be a stalker. So we'll have him go to 1, 2, 1, 2. Well, he'll go to Bob. Um, I think that's it for the monsters. Sneak checks in Arkham are made out of plus one bonus. The causeway, the wireless, okay. And the card. Alright, so that's fine. <clears throat> so here we go. Mandy is our first player, so move her here. Bob has got to stay there and fight that guy. And Vincent, what are we going to do with Vincent? Hmm. That's a shame that we lost three clue tokens. Um, he has a gate.
I think I'm going to send him. Let's send him <clears throat> to the unnameable. You'll gain that clue token. Okay. All right. So Mandy is going to have an encounter at the Plateau of Lang. I need a green or a red. There we go. Pass a fight minus two check to probe and the gate you find built to the wall. Inside you find something fascinating. Draw a unique item. All right. If I can pass this, I can't. But no penalty. All right. Bob has to take care of this ghoul here. Let's do a will. Passes his will check. Six and four is ten minus one. All right, I just need one hit on this guy. Okay, that's fine. But he's endless, so it's back in the cup. And uh, Vincent is having an encounter at the unnameable. Pass a luck minus one check to find a hidden as all right. Luck minus one. Didn't get it. Okay, well that's it. That's it for these guys. Okay. Next meet those phase. It's Gardner's place. The unnameable. Alright, well. Clue appears at the historical society. Vincent Lee is getting sucked in. To Yugoth. Let's go ahead and put a Doom token on the Doom track. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put a monster on the board. Oof. Uh, no monsters are moving, but the color of outer space will roll. He rolls a one, so we don't have to do anything. All right, draw monsters from the monster cup until you have drawn two flying monsters. They are placed in the sky. Flying monsters do not attack investigator with exhibit eyes before the end of the next turn. Leave this card in play until then to indicate. Okay. Okay. Okay, Bob. He's going to Black Cave and grab these two clue tokens. Vincent can't do anything. And Mandy will come out of the Plateau of Lang, which is down here. Yeah. Okay. So Bob is going to have an encounter at the Black Cave. Alright, you stumbled upon the cult of the black goat. You may join them if you wish. To do so, you must discard at least two toughness worth of monster trophies, lose three stamina, or an ally. If you cannot or choose not to join, pass a speed minus two check, or lose two stamina. Okay, um... I can lose... I don't have an ally. I don't have toughness worth of monsters. So I will lose two stamina. And I am now one of the thousand. Whenever you have encountered a black cave, we draw one of those cult encounters instead. Vincent is blue or yellow. Suddenly things you've seen make sense. Gain one clue token. Okay. And Mandy will try to close. Okay, it's minus one, so she gets a three. Fine, she does it. She will spend her five clue tokens and seal the woods. There's no diamond monsters out here, though. <coughs> All 
right, so that is one, two, three, oops, four. Okay, we're getting real close. Real close. All right, let's do the mythos phase here. That's Marsh Refinery. Okay, Independent Square. We would have had a gate burst, but we still have a gate there. So we're going to have a surge. So let's see, we have three gates on the board. It's going to be three monsters. Alright, that puts us right at our limit, actually. So that's good. No, actually, it puts us one above our limit, so we got to put one in the outskirts. Let me grab three monsters. We have a maniac, another cultist, and another cultist going to the outskirts. Okay. Let's see if we have any movement here. Uh, uh, no. No movement. Okay, clue appears at the unnameable, which it will not. Each investigator with Tome loses two sanity. Okay, uh, let's see who has a Tome. Nobody has a Tome. Each investigator does not have a Tome, but does have one or more spells, loses one sanity. Well, that's not going to be the case either because. Nobody has any spells, so we kind of lucked out on that. Alright, so Vincent here, we stand him up. Mandy is down here. Let's try to get her some clues. Uh, she will go to the science building. How about that? Let's move her one, two, three. She'll grab this clue. And we'll go ahead and do her encounter. She'll trade in her gate and gain two more clue tokens. All right. <clears throat> Bob has plenty of clue tokens, so I need to send him to a gate. <sighs> Unfortunately, all the gates have hard people there. Okay, who's the harder? This ghost, physical immunity, but Bob does have a magical weapon. So I think, I think we're going to send him here to, uh, we're going to go here to Hibbs Roadhouse. So let's uh, do that. And, alright, so we'll start with Vincent. He's at Ugoth, blue or yellow. Ah, your only hope is to steal a bag key and some sp space mead. Pass a sneak check to escape. Okay. Um. Pass. Okay. Um. Return to Arkham and gain clue t two clue tokens. That's fantastic. Because now, because of that, he will have enough clues. I got lucky on that. He will have enough clues to seal that gate. Um, and he's in Ugoth, so that's a Ugoth, and that's a Ugoth. Uh, let's go to here okay <clears throat> Mandy did hers and so now we have Bob and Bob's got a fight 
Okay, we'll start with the cultist here. That's fine. No horror check needed. Actually, no, no, that's he's wrong. All right, so, okay, so all we need is one hit. All right, that's four. So our fight is four, ten, eleven. That's another four. All right, so we beat the cultist. All right. Okay, now we have the undead ghost here. <clears throat> Let's do a wheel check. Do I have anything that will help me? <sighs> okay. Well. And okay, so I have to lose one sanity because of that. That's fine. All right. Oops. I'm gonna put that there. And I'm at three, so I can't lose any more, or I'm in some serious trouble. All right. So I'm gonna use my ancient spear, and it says exhaust to change ancient spear to a magical weapon. So that's what I'm gonna do because this thing's physically immune. So it's a plus four combat with my plus four fight, which is actually going to be done in half. Four. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Minus three, eight, five, I need two hits. All right, I got it right here with the five and the six. So this thing is, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, I, I killed the ghost. Okay, so he's going in. The plateau of Lang. And there he goes. Okay. Um That's right, he came out. So it's the next turn. Alright. So a monster surge occurs. Okay. So that's one, two, three gates. And we have one, two, three, four monsters on the board. Okay. So we put two monsters on the board another ghoul this thing uh, however no gates open this turn the first player gains one clue token which would have been Vincent okay uh, all monsters are going to go so we'll start with the color space and so everybody in Arkham will lose a sanity so Mandy will have to lose a sanity and Vincent will have to lose a sanity Okay. Alright. Um this thing is a stalker, so he's gonna move over here. This thing is going to Well he's just gonna get attacked, I guess. Or I do that. The maniac will move. That'll stay. And of course I have to do I do have to put one in the outskirts, so. Go. Alright. Alright. 
So Mandy. Okay, um, man, where am I going to move her to? I will move her one, two, three to the south side streets. Okay, Bob will just stand up. And Vincent is going to seal the gate. Let me check something real quick. Okay, so, um, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and we got these monsters here. Now, Vincent has the handcuffs. And it says exhaust before making a combat check against a cultist, tickle tickle ghoul, or maniac to automatically pass a check and gain one sanity. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to use the handcuffs on that. We're going to do him first. So <clears throat> all we have to do is do a wheel check. And I have the cross. Okay, so that's fine. So we passed the wheel check. So now I'm going to do that. And so this guy is done. And I gain one sanity back for doing that. Okay, he's relentless, so he goes back in the box. Okay, next I have is the cultist. And again, that's fine. I'm going to do that. I have my Derringer. Be four, five. Two, three, four, five. I, have, I don't have to do a horror check. And I pass that, so he's done. Okay, so now we have this damn thing right here, the Yithian. If you fail a horror check, you are lost in time and space. Okay, so only minus one. And I passed. So I don't fail the horror check. However, um, oh boy. All right. So I have two, four. Okay. Two on the combat check. Okay, so. I won't be able to beat this guy, but let's see what I could do. Because he has three health. Okay, well, yeah, it's not that good. Uh, once per turn, Mandy can activate this ability after investigator. It makes a skill check. That investigator rerolls all the dice roll. Okay. So I got one success. Let's let's re-roll this one since I can re-roll with Mandy's thing. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I do one damage to this thing right here, and I have to take actually some damage. Okay, <clears throat> that's my movement phase. Alright, so Mandy is going, she doesn't have an encounter, she's there. Bob is in the plateau of lengths, let's do his encounter. It should be a red or green, alright. Uh, the hooved wide mouth traders of this land are wealthy but dangerous. You may make a lore minus two check to trade with them. If you pass, gain six bucks. Well, I'm not going to trade with them. Let me see, let me see something. All right, that's going to be the end of the turn because I'm not—I can't have an encounter there because that monster's still there, and I wasn't able to kill it. So let's go ahead and do our encounter phase, or mythos phase, and we have Independent Square. God damn it! Which already still has a gate. 
Let's see what monster movement we're going to have. We're going to have a monster surge. So we have one, two, three gates. We have one, two, three, four monsters. <sighs> Damn. All right, I got a maniac. One, two, three. Okay, and I have to put another one on the outskirts. And my outskirts limit... Five, and I think I've just hit that. Yep, five. All right, so one more, and terror level go up. Okay, so the maniac is going to move here, and that's it. Uh, clue goes on enable. No, it wasn't. Any investigator shrewd air at the end of mythos phase must choose one item to discard. Okay, on well, that will be. Um, Mandy, and I guess we'll get rid of Seeker of the Yellow Sign. She'll discard that item. And it is now Bob's turn. Bob will move one. Vincent, gonna have to fight monsters. So let's go ahead and do that. And then, uh, what do I do with Mandy? Yeah, I'll move Mandy to the historical side. But let's go ahead and do the monsters again. First, the Maniac. which I can do the handcuffs again which I will and get rid of the maniac and I can get rid of a sanity and I can fight this guy again okay so let's hope I don't fail my horror check here okay I passed my horror check so now we gotta fight this guy Okay, I got another success, and I'm going to use Mandy's special ability to re-roll this one. And I got two hits. Alright, that's good enough, and I kill this monster. Thank God. Okay. Alright. And then Mandy will go to the Historical Society and gain a clue. Okay, so let's start with Bob. He's at the Plateau of Lang. Uh, you find some valuable items that you can sell back at Arkham. Gain three bucks. Okay. Alright. Vincent is going to try to seal this one. Minus two. But it's not a problem. So, spend my clues. Take a sanity and health loss but this is a pure circle let's put a elder sign there and let's see is this a pure circle that is a pure circle so he goes off the board and that is it outskirts anybody circle uh, no 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 circles in the outskirts okay Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, five places. And Mandy will have an encounter at the Historical Society. And Bob is in the Plateau Lane, which is here. Okay, if I can seal that next turn, we've won the game. Alright, uh, you encounter a friendly old professor from Miskatonic Universe. If you spend one gate trophy, he introduces himself as Professor Armitage and offers to join forces with you. Take his ally. I don't have a gate trophy. Uh, I don't have a gate trophy. Okay. <clears throat> Mythos phase. Alright. Come on. Give me a card. Okay. Independent Square. However, uh, it is sealed, so no monster will come out. We do have to do the color of space, and people will lose a sanity. So Mandy will lose a sanity. Bob is still there, so he won't lose a sanity. Vincent will lose a sanity. Um, the unnameable will not get the clue that 
A monster appears in each of the following river docks. I have one, two, three monsters. Okay. Okay. River docks. Unvisited Isle. Okay. Oof. And all aquatic street areas on expansion game boards. Well, that's all right. So that's it for that. Okay. So the first player is Vincent. I think Vincent's just going to stay there. Uh, Mandy, she's here. The Historical Society. Um, I can move her up. One, two, three, four. Try to get the clue in case we need it. And then Vincent, I mean, sorry, Bob is coming out here. Okay, so Vincent will have an encounter at Independent Square. A pair of friendly picnickers share their lunch with you. Gain one stamina. Okay. It's fine. Um, Mandy. Street. Bob. And Alright, Bob. Here we go. Um, we have to seal. Minus one. Okay, we got it. So I'll spend my clue tokens and seal Hibbs Roadhouse. I would lose a sanity in that process, but that's fine. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six. And we won. Wow. I didn't even got Glacky to come and play. Um, well, that's Glacky. His undead people never came into play. There was never any ally removed from the game or discarded. So, none of his servants came up. Although, we did do the stalker type thing with the cultist and the undead um the black goat well we did have a person become a member but it was towards the end of the game and nothing really came of that so eh. but other than that yeah i mean i think this was a real successful game we really put the hurt on them well, I know it was long overdue, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we will be playing more Arkham. We have some more games to go. Um, and uh, we're going to mix up Arkham with some other games I'm going to play this month. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have fun.